John Congemi here with the first round draft choice of the Miami Dolphins, Minka Fitzpatrick out of Alabama. First of all, nice to meet you, Minka. It's nice great to, to see you here in the aqua and orange. Your excitement level when your name was called. I, I know you probably thought your name was going to get called a little bit earlier, but when the Dolphins selected you, give us what your thought process. I mean, I was just excited. I, I didn't think they was going to pick me at all. I had no clue uh, that they wanted me. I only talked to them about two, three times before the draft. Um, and that was early on at like the combine. And I didn't really talked to him too much in between. Uh, so I was, uh, I was kind of surprised and excited at the same time. Uh, you know, I'm happy. It's a great team, great state, great city. So just uh, enjoying the whole process. Now, growing up in Jersey, you, you gave it up to me. You were a Philly fan, so you had a pretty good offseason that yeah. way. Yeah. But Miami Dolphins, have you followed the Dolphins? Have you have been a, you know, a fan of, of any, anything Dolphins related in, in your past? I haven't. I mean, I grew up in New, in New Jersey. I don't think there's too many Miami fans. Uh, <laughs> They're everywhere so, now. And, and that is You'll true. But yeah, yes sir, yes sir. Your your big play experience. You know, playing safety, playing corner, playing a lot of positions at Alabama. Two-time All-American, two-time SEC selection. You've you played in big games. When you talk to former players at Alabama, how does that translate coming from big-time college football that you played? to the NFL. How do you think that'll translate? Um, I think one, it's uh, just a discipline that we have. That's why we continue to, to win the games and do what we do at uh, Alabama. But you know, it kind of just translates just doing doing your job. I mean, if you do your job at the, at the high school level, at the college level, at the pro level, you're going to be a good player. Uh, and then also just discipline off the field. You know, if you do the right things off the field, it translates on the field. So and yeah, that's really it. What's your experience like been like so far here on campus? You've only been here a couple of days. I know you haven't hit the field yet, but what has this been like for you being a member of the Miami Dolphins? Um, it's been uh, it's been kind of surreal, you know. Every time I look around, I see myself wearing the uh, was it aqua and orange? That's is it. what's it called? Yeah. Aqua and orange. Uh, and it was just kind of surreal, you know. As you, you dream about these moments, I'm here now, so now it's just time to get to work and do what we got to do to win games. Lastly, everybody else has kind of explained who you are as a player. You can play a lot of positions. You do it at a high level, and you're one of those quality guys off the field as well. How would you explain the player that you are and the person that you are to Dolphin fans? Um, I'm going to say uh, I'm a guy that does my job. Uh, I'm a guy that challenges myself and then challenges people around him uh, after that. And uh, I'm just going to do what I got to do to win games, help my team, uh, just be the po best possible version of myself to allow my team to win games. Well, can't wait to see you in a Dolphins uniform out here practicing with, the, with the, your teammates, your new teammates, and good luck to you, and, and it's great to have you as a member of the Dolphins. Sir, thank you for having me. You got it.